Today I'm going to be showing you how to make keto-friendly French toast. The first thing you're going to need to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Next, you're going to mix four eggs in a medium-sized mixing bowl. I like to mix my eggs because it makes the bread a little bit fluffier. Once your eggs are mixed, you are going to add four tablespoons of avocado oil. You can really use any type of oil, such as olive oil or coconut oil. I just personally like avocado oil. Then you are going to add one tablespoon of maple extract. Mix all of these ingredients together. Next, you are going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. Finally, you are going to add three fourths of a cup of almond flour. You can also use coconut flour for this mixture, but make sure you look up the ratio of almond flour to coconut flour. Mix well until all the ingredients are incorporated. To bake the bread, you are going to need a non-stick oven safe dish. To make sure that my bread does not stick, I'm just going to spray on a little bit of coconut oil. Pour the mixture into your dish and bake for 12 to 15 minutes. Now we will need to make the coating for our bread. You will need two eggs and three tablespoons of almond milk. Next, you are going to add cinnamon. I like a lot of cinnamon, so I added about two tablespoons. Next, I added one tablespoon of powdered stevia. This step is optional, but I like my French toast a little bit sweet, so I went ahead and added it. Finally, you are going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extracts. Mix all of these ingredients together and set aside. Once the bread is done baking, take it out of the oven and let it cool for five to 10 minutes. Once your bread is cooled, you are going to cut it into pieces. I cut mine into small squares, but you can also cut them into bigger squares or sticks. Next, heat one tablespoon of butter in a nonstick skillet on medium heat. Drench the bread in the mixture and place in the skillet. Cook each side until golden brown. Serve your French toast warm with your favorite toppings. I like to eat mine with a little bit of butter and some sugar-free syrup.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video.